Hello and welcome to this tutorial on setting up your Google Classroom using your UMS Google Enterprise account. To begin with, log into your UMS Gmail account using your user ID and password. You can then access the classroom at classroom.google.com. Once you access the classroom, you will arrive at this particular page in which you can set up your class or create a class. To create a class, you can see this plus icon. Click on this icon and create a class. I will call my class Biosafety. So I'm going to set up a class. So I call it Biosafety. I set up the section which is Introduction. I set up a subject which is ES101. And I set up my classroom, which is BRM102. These are arbitrary numbers, which you can basically key in based on your specific requirements. I now click on Create, which will create the classroom. Google Classroom will permit the upload of lecture notes, videos from YouTube, as well as quizzes using the Google form. Now, when you see the classroom format, you will see a class code over here. You click on this magnify button, which is display. And this is the code which you can share with your students so that they can access this classroom using their UMS student account. I'm going to close this window. Now, if you need to change the theme, you can select your theme from here. And you can select any number of themes from the Google Drive or display, or you can upload your respective photographs here using the upload link. Okay, I'm going to select this class theme for now. So uh, if you need to upload photographs, you can click on this upload photo. So this is the window where you communicate with your students. So if you want to share something with this class, you can click here. And there is a biosafety icon here and with all students. So I will share something with my class by clicking on this add icon. Now when I click on the add icon, I can upload information from my Google Drive using a link, using a file, or using a YouTube video. Now as a lecturer at UMS, it's highly recommended that you store all your lecture notes on your Google Drive as it enables quick sharing and upload. I'm going to add a YouTube video on biosafety so all I do is search the YouTube for biosafety or biorisk. So I click and I search. And I can add a video on biosafety. So I add this video and I add it and I'm done. So in case you have your lecture notes ready in the video format, you may upload them to YouTube and you can have your video links here. Now the next thing what I'm going to do is add a lecture note. So in order to add a lecture note, I can either add from my Google Drive or I can upload this file. So I can click on File and I can upload a file. I select File from my device. I go through my lecture notes and I can add up a file from my lecture notes itself. Okay, so I add up something. So the lecture note is added as PDF format and I click on Upload. Okay, now you have your video, you have your lecture note, and now you need to interact with the student. So you can add a form using your Google Drive. So I'm going to search for a form on biosafety and biosecurity. Now this is a quiz which I have created using Google Forms, which I will cover in another video. I'm going to add this form which allows me to interact with my student in class. So I add this form. Okay, so I've set up a basic class. So I have a video lecture, a lecture note, as well as the evaluation forms. The students can access this by clicking on the respective links. Now, once everything is done, I can share a link with my students or share a welcome note. Welcome. I give them my instructions over here. And if I need to select only some students, I can select some. Or in this case, I'm going to select all students. Okay, and I proceed to post. 
Now, Google Class uses a stream-based format, which is something most of us are familiar with. Like Facebook, it will stream your lectures. When you want to add another, another lecture note, all you do is again click on this. You share something with your class. You add the next set of components, which may be the video, the links, the files, the YouTube videos, or something from your Google Drive. And once you're done with this, you click post. Okay, so that's the way you communicate using Google Classroom. Okay, now you share this link with your students and they can access your classroom content online. I hope this video has been useful to you. I will be covering Google Forms in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, please comment in the YouTube video file. Thank you very much and happy e-learning.